So at this point, guys, I have to ask, are any of you actually going to come back to Division 2? I mean, look at the situation we have. Right now, the game is pretty much dead. I mean, there's very little things... There's very little that you can actually go and do now if you've already pretty much played through the game. None of the missions and none of the actual end-game activities are really worth doing at this point. The very rare chance of getting an actual upgrade for your armor or your weapons is just not worth the time investment that you need to spend. So what are we going to be doing here in the next half a year while we're waiting for episodes 2 and 3 to come out? I mean, are, are you even going to come back for episodes 2 and 3? Are you even going to come back for possible more DLC, actual paid DLC in the future? Uh, you know, at this point, uh, judging by the history of the franchise, it just <laughs> none of it seems worth it. Uh, I mean, honestly, the only thing it seems like they could do is have a carrot dangling in front of some of the players who really want a survival type mode or really want a horde type mode. But at this point, I think the player base is just done with the game. Which is sad, because I was really hoping that the game would last a good, decent, long time. But I mean, if we look at what we've got coming out, or has already released, um, you know, there's a game like Remnant from the Ashes, which I'm actually getting really into. It seems to be a nice mix of Dark Souls Division, maybe Darksiders, or even uh, Vermintide, if you're familiar with that game. Which is a nice combination. Now, I don't think it's a long-lasting, this is going to be your main game for months, because it just seems like it's kind of designed for um, some casual co-op type play, uh, maybe for, you know, you might get a couple hundred hours of playtime in it if you're really dedicated to it. But after that, I think it'll kind of dry up and it'll be more or less, I'm not, I'm not going to keep grinding in this game. Um, but I mean, you've also got World of Warcraft Classic that just came out and that's brought a huge number of players back into the game. Uh, I'm currently working on uh, getting my PC uh, actually to play that game. So... That'll keep me occupied, I know, for a good long time. Uh, I think as many people that say, oh, well, you're just, you're just nostalgic for the original vanilla WoW. Well, yeah, of course people are. But people that kind of left after the you know, first or second expansions, um, they didn't really have the problem of, oh, well, you just want all these new features. Well, no, you, you don't want the new features because you wanted the classic experience, and that was where you had a lot of fun, that, that nice, long, grindy fun. And some of the bandwagon players who came later, they don't really understand that, or they didn't really like that. Well, you know, there's plenty of the community, plenty of people who did love the original World of Warcraft. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. But from the same publisher, Ubisoft, You've also got Ghost Recon Breakpoint coming out, which I'm not going to say it's going to be a division killer because the division's already dead, but I think it'll steal a good portion of the players that might have returned in the future. Um, <clears throat> I think it's going to be more designed for that Halo type or Call of Duty type player, and but I don't think it's going to be designed for everyone just because I don't think the loot you know, is going to be the same. I mean, if you play The Division, we all know you're playing for a looter shooter. I don't think Breakpoint is going to be looter shooter enough. Um, the fact that it's not really like an on online persistent world type game, that's kind of eh for me. I'll probably give it a shot, but I don't think it'll be the whole package that I'm looking for. Uh, of course, and then you've got Borderlands 3. Uh, I have no interest in the Borderlands series. Uh, I love the I love the kind of like story and the, the humor to it, but it's just the gameplay is kind of 
eh to me. Everything's just, you know, it's just like a run and gun, you know, there's no real, like, wow to it, I, I guess you could say. I mean, yeah, you can get some cool guns and you can get some cool stuff, but, like, as far as the game goes, it's not really that epic style game. It's more just kind of like an arcade, you know, it's like an arcade game, which is fun for, and a lot of people love the, the series. I'm not saying that, you know, it's, I'm not saying that it's not an enjoyable game for people. Uh, I just don't personally enjoy it that much, so I probably won't even pick it up. But, I mean, then if you, you know, if you got, you know, previous games, maybe you're hoping up, hoping that uh, some of those other games maybe step up their game, like uh, Destiny 2 has got some new stuff coming out. I tried to get into it, but I don't know, there's something about Destiny that I just, even if they improve the base formula, I'm just, I'm kind of done with it as a whole. Um, and then you've also got Anthem. <laughs> I don't know if you have tried to get back into Anthem. I have. It didn't go well. Uh, it's just, it's just so, so boring. Uh, I'm sorry. Like if you if you like Anthem, I'm happy for you. Just everything about that game just doesn't feel good. You know, shooting things does not feel good. Using your abilities does not feel good. Getting loot does not feel good. Upgrading does not feel good. Like, none of the game really feels good. I mean, the boss fights are kind of fun and interesting, but that's about it. But, I mean, even then, there's only so many boss fights, and they don't really do too much except, like, one or two things. So, anyway, what are you guys trying to do? What do you guys want to play? What does your gaming future look like? For right now, my plan is, you know, finish up doing Remnant from the Ashes uh, and playing World of Warcraft Classic. Uh, maybe even moving into some of the expansions after, you know, I had had some fun with that. Who knows? Um, but that's pretty much what I see it as. Uh, I can't really say that there's too much really in the works right now that's you know, making me, I want to play this. And there's nothing coming from Division 2 right now that's just like, oh, we have to get back into this game and get ready. Like, you know, until 1.6 releases, the game is going to stay dead. Uh, the PvP is not really that fun unless you're just playing with, you know, your clan members and just, you know, doing uh, 4v4s in the freaking, in the DZ. But that's about it. Like a, any game's good, you know, with friends. <laughs> so it's not really like a, a call to play Division Two. So that's it for me, guys. Let me know in the comments below what your gaming plans are for the next month or half a year or whatever. Um, tell me if there's any games that I didn't mention that you're really into or something that you're really looking forward to in the looter shooter RPG-ish, you know, quasi uh, adventure type genre. Um, and if there's anything that, you know, really stands out to you that I didn't mention, um, something that's really cool, something that's going to come down the line here soon, let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.